is up apex nation welcome to eternal essence hope you guys are having a great day this is a free-to-play card game really inspired by Yu-Gi-Oh. if i had to name one thing it's really inspired by it seems like a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh. i mean i was looking through the i did the tutorial i did the story but it's just five tutorials i did this puzzle mode also which i don't know it, this seems very much like it's early access i really hope they you know, purdy this up a little bit. It seems like it's stretched. You know, it's designed for a phone. Is what it looks like. Really does look like it's designed for a phone. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. But if you look at some of the cards here, like, um, <laughs> look at this. It's Apex Esprit. He's in my deck. In my deck's name is Test. I don't know. I really like green. Green looks cool. Had elf synergy. If we look at, uh, yeah, friendly elves cannot be targeted by spells. Friendly green elves get plus one, plus one. It costs two. Things cost five, and that's where you have to sacrifice creatures. You start with three energy every turn. It goes away at the end of the turn if you don't use it all, and it comes back with three. So if you summon a ham, it's a two. Now you have three energy at the end of your turn, or they call it something else, but whatever, call it energy. You have three energy at the beginning of your turn. You want to summon up this little volume thing, which I have two of them in my deck, I believe. Yeah, right here, two. You, you have three. You can sacrifice him, which is two, so now you have five, and then you can play out the big boy. Now, if you have a Leviathan, and let's say you sacrifice, you have three points, and you sacrifice, how did I do this? I gained points. How did I gain points? Oh, oh, I think I had, um, I had a five on the field. You start with three points. Yeah, 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 that's what I did. I had a five on the field. It wasn't that. It was probably like like this one right here. Because the no, was it the active? I can't remember what it was. But I had a five on the field. And I wanted to play Cassandra, who is a no, it's a five. How did I do that? I can't remember how I did it, but somehow I ended up with like four extra energy after summoning something out, which made no sense. But if you have a five on the field and you need to summon out a four. Which, if we can find a four or a six, that's what I had. I had the six. That's who I had. I had you, because you're calling his gain six life it, when you summon him. So I had right here this uh, Rector of Creation out. Then I needed Cassandra, because her active ability is deal four damage. So I attack first, and then I summon Cassandra out. Great tactic, by the way. I needed five. You start to turn with three. So when I sacked. Oh man, I wish it was there. So when I sacked. Wait, is it here? No. When I sacked Creation. And I needed five. I had three. I gained six more, nine. So I had four left over after summoning a Cassandra. So you can kind of chain. And I was wondering during that during that battle, I'm like, ah, I don't know about this game. Chaining it seems like it's really freaking difficult to do. And you have traps. If I can find a trap real quick. Am I not gonna find a trap real quick? Yeah, right here. Like these, these are traps right here. It's a trap you lay down on the field. You can have four traps on the field. And it says choose one. Gain three life or prevent three spell damage to a creature until the end of the turn. That's pretty good. It's pretty cool. We have this little guy. <laughs> I, I, I want to see his transform so badly. But I didn't get to play him because he's one defense. He's kind of hard to keep alive. But he transformed for three more energy. So technically costs six to get a 5-4 Apex Predator with Airborne. Airborne means he flies. He can only be attacked or blocked by creatures that are flying. And then also this game has... Um, we'll get into it. We're going to go into Unranked. Just a game. I don't want to do a match. I just want to do a game. This might, I want to change this. Can I change this? No. Let's go. Find a game. Hopefully you can find a game. So one thing I saw with this game is... Um, if not, we'll just do the tutorial battle again. So what was I going to say? I was going to say something and I forgot. Do the traps. I was talking about that. I was talking about... Oh, the game has a card called Taunt. And it's pretty interesting the way the turn order goes. You attack. And you tap your creature when you attack. So it's uh, called... It's um, not called rested. It's called... Ex whatever. It's active. It's tapped. And you attack. But if you have a rested creature, a creature that's untapped... If it's airborne or, you know, there's ways to get around it, but 
if I have an untapped creature that's on the ground and they have a creature on the ground, they can't hit me directly without destroying my tapped creature. Exhausted. That's what they call the tapped ones. Exhausted. So you attack and you exhaust your creature, which opens you up. It leaves you vulnerable to attack. Unless you have a card that has taunt. If you have a card that has taunt, you can attack with it and still it has to be killed or flown above if you have airborne. It has to be killed before you can be hit. That's pretty cool. It allows you to play really aggro while also protecting yourself. This game just launched last night at like 7 o'clock my time at p.m. And now it's the next day and we don't have any players? Come on now. I was really hoping for some players. So what if we go ranked game test play? Are people playing ranked? I just want to get into a game. I can see if people don't want to play this game. I understand that because it's awkward. It's really awkward. And it seems like this game, even though they said they try really hard to balance. I have a feeling this game has a top tier deck. And this isn't going to work. And I wanted to showcase this game. So I guess we'll just do tutorial five test play. We'll do this battle again. It was a pain in the butt. Maybe we could do better. Okay, what do we have here? What can we do? We're going first again. Okay, so I do kind of want to play you down, but if I play... Okay, so if I get Death Trap down there, which... Oh, well, I should actually look at these. Death Trap deals three damage to an attacking creature without airborne. So you kind of like creatures attack, and also a giant hole appears below them. They fall down, get impaled. Boom! Alright, so I think I want to play you out. That way, my creatures start getting plus one, plus one. I'll put escape down, too, just in case I need to bounce. Also, do Council's Gift just in case they want to spell damage my elf. But if I can get that elf down there, then I can start putting a Shadow Walker down. Start protecting him. I mean, he instantly comes down as a 2-2 two, two for two. Plus the ability to give everyone plus one, plus one. Also, you like I said, you have three points. You can use two of your points to draw a card. You got your four spells down here. We got our do, which doesn't change picture. Destroy all enchantments. This sucks. Uh, okay, well. We'll do... This is what he did last time. The beginning of the game, too. Uh, we'll do gain three life. Deal three damage. I'm going to bounce. Keep him alive. He wastes his spell. I still gain three life. He's going to destroy my pitfall trap. Watch, I'm going to draw the treasure card. I have a treasure card that lets me draw two cards if destroyed. And it's an enchantment. And he will never destroy it. Ooh, I got Leviathan, though. Okay, so... I would like to play that. I'm going to play this. We're going for a little synergy here. I'm going to attack, so maybe he'll leave this alone. When it comes to his turn. Attack me directly. Oh, when he attacks, he does not unrest. Uh, does not rest during the next turn. Okay, so he's tapped for two turns. I could bring Leviathan out right now and seriously do some work, or I can bring out Wild Speaker and have an extra turn to try to do a little bit of work here. Oh, deal damage equal to its own jerk. Hate you. I'm gonna attack you directly. I almost had a chance for two wild speakers on the field. That would have been so good. The cards are kind of cool looking. I mean, it's kind of hard. It, to me, like, I can't click and look at my opponent's card, which is annoying. I can look at my cards, and I wish, you know, Magic the Gathering has that thing where it zooms in and makes it all real nice and all that. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to put Divergence down, and we'll probably Divergence this. Well, actually, there's a better combo for that, but we're not going to get that combo. Uh, I would love to get Wild Speaker on the field, but if I get Bloodletter on the field and I have Bloodletter murder this, that will become. Oh, I gotta. I have to kill that first. Let us taunt. You know what? We have to do this. Get two damage done. Because I'm gonna get rid of that big boy right now. 
So and what that thing does, by the way, is he has a he's a three three normally, and when there's other people on the field, it becomes a white a one one. But if I were to destroy that, it becomes a three three. Now I have another three three to deal with. It's something you gotta look out for. Now I can do this: give my creature plus one plus one. He would survive that battle. Oh, but I need more. I need to play that taunt. I don't have a one cost a taunt. And that's why I was like, I can see why people don't play this game. Three is a little too low, and you can't reserve mana to have like a powerful combo turn, stuff like that. I can see, like I said, I can see why people don't play it. No, he hasn't. No, oh, you kidding me? Two. Deal one to four damage to all allies. Enemies. Allies. What are words? Enemies. Can I play you? I have to sacrifice a creature to do that. Not happening. Okay, well, let's just attack again. It's a race. So they're telling me I can play that card because I have one point left over and I can sack him, which will give me more points. And that barbarian's gonna kill you, aren't you? Nope, you're gonna attack me directly. Okay. This is what I wanted to avoid. Okay, uh, you're. And he's got a trap down. But he's top decking now, and he's had this one there for a while. So I have a feeling that's a destroy enchantment one. Hey, a 3 for a 3 1 taunt. Or. Reverse that. Um, if I put you down. And have you murder that. You won't survive. I have no way of surviving. I can bring in Leviathan. It's for all my points. And I can start killing. I'm banking on these being nothing. I gotta get big boy out there and then possibly start doing some work. Well, I like the death blood. Okay, well, we're gonna have to clear the field. Bring in the taunt. And of course, deal three damage. Why would you not? Uh, you've been rested for multiple turns? I can't remember. You know what? We're gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to take a look at my cards. Gain two life, active, destroy an enchantment. Not bad for two. Wild speakers would be great. I need death trap. I'm gonna get rid. Okay, so what do I do? I, I do I do I click? What? Oh, I don't know what I did. No idea. That that needs to be worked on. I had no idea what I just did. That sucked. I have no idea what's on top of my card deck now. It's like it wasn't showing me what I was clicking on. That's mm. okay. I don't think I'll be playing this game. I like it. It's pretty cool. I got wall speaker. Okay, so I do have wall speaker. All right, good. I don't know what happened. Like it should be a lot more simplified. It's annoying. Wall speaker, but he's coming back this turn. I can't kill him with that. I can bring this out and kill that if he'll let me. Hey, I was able to kill something. I have more cards in my hand. I like that. If he's got cards that require sacrifices, which he does not. Okay, Ravenous Barbarians is 3-1. I can kill that with my taunt, but that takes all my freaking turn. <laughs> How can I do this? How can I do this? I could bring up Blood Letter, sack it. That's not... You know, they make it so you can't do that kind of crap. If I bring up Blood Letter, right? I need to start having multiple creatures on the field. That's what it comes down to. I'm behind on my creatures. So now that I did damage, I could bring out Shadow Walker. And now I have a Taunter on the field. I want to save my turn there. So I did some damage, and now I have a Taunter that he's going to have to get rid of by doing that, which lowers him down also. So that works. Gets rid of one of his guys. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. No player bases, which is annoying. That would be a good one to have right now. And eventually, he's, it looks like he's giving up. Honestly, when I was playing this game and kind of struggling, it looked like he gave up. So that's only three points I have left. They don't make it so you can combo a bunch of crap, which would be really, really cool if they did. All right. Uh, well, I mean... I can't protect her, unfortunately. <gasps> Another Leviathan. Now, I'm going to do this, so I do five damage. 
He doesn't have anything to pump, which he doesn't. So he's he's given up. He's pretty much he's not gonna combo me anymore. Now I could bring out. No. It's only four damage. Wait, could I have just strung that together? Okay, we're gonna test something. I mean, I want. Oh, that's the card I've been waiting for. I only have one of these in my deck. This thing is so freaking cool. Look at this. Give a creature plus one, plus one, awaken it. In effect, it is triggered the beginning of a controller's turn. Pay two rip to give the creature an additional plus one, plus one. So I can plus one, plus one him right now and kill it. But I want to try something. So if I attack, done one. If I bring on another Leviathan, could I attack again? I can. Oh, busted. Busted. That is so much. Okay, that's why no one's playing this game. You you said balance. This game said it has balance. No, it doesn't. Right there. Okay, so I just did six damage. I could do another six damage. Then I could bring her out and use her active ability to do four damage. So 12, four, five, six, 16 damage in one go. Just because I have that on the field. And not to mention, I could also infinite, infinite shackles. Things. That's such a cool looking card. But, let, no, sorry. Wait, no, no. We can play this. Give that plus one, plus one. Now murder it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I can I can start to see where the combos come in on this game, and I can tell you I would do not want to play this game multiplayer. This will be terrible. I mean, we can wrap up and see if we actually get into a game. If we get into a game, we'll play it, but if not, whatever. This game, for sure... Seems like it's one of those games where if you're lucky enough, you could possibly two-turn someone. Can't do it one turn because you kind of have to have a card on the field to set it all up. But if you go second, you get a three card cost card up there. Your opponent doesn't get rid of it, afraid of it for whatever reason. Then all of a sudden you have good hand. So you can start sacking and annihilating them. It seems like you can take the field really hard and do a serious hard hitting turn but then again you're open for next turn and you exhausted your hand kind of bad also doesn't look like there's a player base at all or the matchmaking is broken it is a day one game basically it's been out for less than 24 hours at this point that i'm recording and we have summon 30 level level two or lower creatures for 60 gold win three games for another 40 gold Summon 10 creatures with Colin for another 40 gold. Winning the next game. Roar 25. Daily bonus. So you get an extra 25 gold for winning. This is like Magic the Gallon type stuff. Magic the Gallon does this a lot. MTGA. Magic the Gallon Arena. I love that game. So much fun. Uh, receive one pack for every five games. You win up to three packs a week. So you got to win 15 games a week and you get three packs. This is taking forever. Can I? Oh, I can look. A one pack costs 100 gold. We have no gold, no nothing. I think this game is brand new. Once you should probably reward players with a little bit extra on something. Granted, the tutorial did give me 10 packs, which is why I'm going to make the deck. Still, I mean, you want to spend three bucks for every two packs. That's that's not happening. People will just grind the gold, although it doesn't look like you can really grind that hard. I mean, if I got all these done, I'm taking these are dailies. I'm hoping these are dailies. I mean, you can still get. No, you can get one pack. Yeah, you can get one pack, unless there's more to this than just this one. If there's more to this than just this one daily, like this keeps on going over and over and over again, because, I mean, match the gallery now. Again, I'm going back to that. You can get a lot of stuff with the dailies, and the new whole, like, leveling up with each uh, set release, which is really cool. I mean, I say new, but it's probably been out for a long time. Refer a friend and get free packs and all that. I'm not going to do this. Puzzle mode, we're not going to check out. I don't want to. I like this game. Is I mean, that's going to teach you some combos, though. I guarantee you this is going to teach you some combos. But look how stretched that picture is. It is not the right resolution. I don't know what this game was designed. I mean, this right here, this is, reminds me a lot. Again, Magic the Gathering Arena. The game is a lot. It's really, really cool. I think it needs to... I mean, maybe I just got bad luck in the cards. So I can't really talk about the cards. The cards are cool. The cards are really cool. There's no penalty to mix all colors together there's no synergy with it but there's no penalty you know i can make a high hidden aggro deck with all five colors six colors i can count all six colors 
So, I don't know. Blue seems like it's still very countery. Destroy relics and stuff like that. One thing I really like is it in this one. I had fun with it. It was um, transfer one health. Yeah, I think this was it. Yeah, life force subsidence. It's transfer one health from an enemy creature to a friendly one. And remember that card I was telling you it becomes a 1-1 one, one, and become a 3-3 three, three if it is lo solo by itself? Well, I had a taunt out there, that 3-1 taunt of mine. And that, that dude who doesn't untap during his next turn attacked me. And I used this to turn it around to the point where... Oh, no, I had something else. I had something else that was like a 3-something with taunt. It was something 3 with taunt. I think it was a 3-3 three, three with taunt. I can't remember. I use this to take that one health from that one one that would become a three three, which was that AI's plan. It made it so my creature not only survived a three three attack, I also destroyed their one one, and destroyed their three three, opened their field up completely. Pretty cool combo, great card in my opinion. For stuff like that, er, well, I can't say early game because that was not early game. This is cool too. Like, look at that bear. It's like Brian Berg. Card art is amazing. The card art looks right. It, I love the back. I like the card itself. The tattered cloth spell vibe looks amazing. The cards look proportionate. The resolution looks great. The only thing I would have... Okay, we're not flying the game. What the crap? Disenchant to game five. Dust already own three copies. What? What do you mean? Already own three copies. Confirm disenchant? Why? 35 more to, why? I, I don't get it. How many cards did I have? Can you tell me? Is that three copies? If I click on you, one, two, three. Okay, is that rarity? What? What? <clears throat> this game needs a lot. There's no X here, by the way. Already on three copies. One, two, one, two. Three. Okay, so I have three. I, I got rid of one of these. So I gained five dust, which you can use to... That's like that's bad. That's bad. Look how squat it is. Little things, little things that can be ironed out as it goes. Early access. Don't really care about that. What was I gonna show you guys? I was gonna show you guys something. Oh, so the card art looks great, right? It absolutely looks amazing. Except for when I first saw this card, McCohen. That's straight out of Google Images. I mean, I have seen that wolf. Now it could have been inspired from that picture I've seen all of it. I think I've seen it on a shirt my dad has. He bought. Well, actually, he was given as a gift. Now, granted, it's a wolf standing on a peak, howling at a moon. Yeah, it's pretty generic. Even the name Lone Wolf with that picture, I feel like I've seen that in another card game for maybe on the mobile or PC somewhere. I've seen that. Because I played a lot of the card games just to try them out. I feel like I've seen that before. That's the only thing I can say other than that. Like, this is so freaking cool looking. I so badly want to see what that is. I love the divide thing. Looks great. It looks like it should be a blue, not a green. But it's okay. I mean, I look at the blue cards. By the way, the vines going up there. It looks so great. We look at white. It's all like noble and all that. It's so great. Look at this. Pegasus. Give another. Ooh, that's blurry. Give another friendly white creature airborne. Great. Absolutely amazing. For this right here, help us look out. Death Wish, search for a level three or lower warrior. When I first read that, I was like, oh, Yu Gi Oh! What's that, Warrior Return from the Grave or something like that? Where you can search for a level 3 warrior and bring him out? It seemed like it had a lot of that stuff. This card just busy, but really freaking cool looking. We look at black, they're all like death roots and stuff like that. Cassandra is really, or, yeah, that was right, Cassandra. Really cool card, awesome card. A little Swamp Lock, a Merlark, basically. Look at the little pet. Look at the little pet. We look at that green. Red, all like burnt. Not really burnt, I guess like ripped. I mean, it should look burnt. Maybe tweak that a little bit to be charred. That looked really cool. Definitely aggro. Really cool. Looks like it's also equipment because you get relics. So it looks like it's also equipment based. We looked at blue. They're all like rune and tatter rip cloth. Yellow are. I think this is like neutral. It won't tell me. I hover over this. It won't tell me. I think these are neutral stuff. And that's where I was like looking at this. It's really, really cool. I love that one. Ice Prism is really cool. You can set a rift cost, which is that cost down here, right here. This three, the three in the middle of the card, basically. That's a that's your rift cost. That's how many points you have. That rift points brings it to zero, so it cannot be used as a sacrifice. You took like a, oh, 
Look, he just dropped a three. He's gonna have six potential rift points next turn. Not anymore, or even not that turn, because like, it doesn't work that way. Well, actually it could. My whole combo theory, you know, it's like I dropped down that Leviathan, attacked with it, and then dropped down another Leviathan was gonna attack with it. Well, if I jumped down the first Leviathan and I thought about this and that becomes a meta, which why would it not become a meta? Unless there's better. I would Ice Prison that first Leviathan, make it a zero. Stop that combo. He attacks with it once. Even if he had two more Leviathans in his hand, he couldn't do anything with them because their Rift cost is zero. He does not have enough to tribute. It's pretty good. That's pretty smart. And then this, Hidden Treasure. I only have one of them. It's in my deck. And Death, with, Death Wish, draw two cards. It's a great little thing to have down. It's like a trap card. You throw it down there and those little four slots. It's pretty cool. I like the premise of this game. I might have to look up and see how many people are actually playing and maybe get in here when people are actually playing, try to get some points. That's so stretched out. And it's the only one. When you click on solo, it's like puzzle mode. Really stretched out. Practice? Nothing. Tutorial. These are all boring tutorials. I kind of wish this wasn't a story. This is a tutorial. But you got practice. I probably should have done practice. It probably would have been different. But overall, great game. Do I know how to exit this game? I can tell you right now, I do not know how to exit this game. I imagine it's the escape key. This is definitely a mobile game. Maybe I should look for it on mobile, because I would actually play it on mobile. Maybe the cross-platform isn't a thing? Maybe people are playing it on mobile? Because I would. Not sure. Actually, mobile might be annoying to remember all that stuff. I don't know, but it was a cool game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play it, pick it up. I hope the player base it's free i hope the player base uh picks up and then we can start actually playing like a tournament mode how cool would that be but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did hit that thumbs up button and show your support there you go if you're new and you haven't subscribed for more content feel free to share this video and comment down below and until next time i'm apex reaper you all stay positive thanks for watching Afraid of the